Animal overcrowding in humane societies is a big issue in the Wabash Valley this year. Animal Control says it's seen an increase in abandoned animal cases. But through one partnership in Vigo County, officials hope to change cases like that. News 10's Patsy Kelly explains. <laughs> A second chance is forever. Words on the front of the Terre Haute Humane Society's building. And it has a double meaning. The shelter gives animals a second chance. And now, Ivy Tech Community College will help give the shelter a second chance. Their facility is decrepit. They have definite need for additional space, cleaner space, uh, safer space for the animals. The college bought an old building in the industrial park with plans to convert it into a new shelter. You can see the ceilings falling down. The roof has been uh, leaking for probably years at this point. Here we, we we're up against a, a severely decaying building. Um, definitely very antiquated um, from the heating and cooling units just to even the basic kennels themselves are starting to crumble. We're adding a veterinary technician program in the fall and we would be able to collaborate with them, provide some additional hands-on in the care of animals. It would provide a clinical site for our students and obviously much improved and much larger space for the Humane Society. It's a move that's needed. Both parties agree the old Humane Society is falling down. The ceilings are leaking and the air doesn't circulate well. And that will hopefully really increase the health level of the animals in there and decrease the transmission of disease because air is going to be more appropriately exchanged. It's going to reduce um, pathogens and, and, and be able to have a, just a healthier um, community of animals that we, we take care of. Both agree they think this is the kind of symbiotic partnership needed in communities. And so as we have a difficult time deciding how to be good stewards of public dollars, we're going to have to find ways to partner for the benefits of our entire community. The ability to partner with other organizations, other entities, I think is critical, especially for nonprofit survivals. Right now, officials say they're still waiting for more funding to finish this building, but they hope to complete the project as soon as possible. For more information about the plan, check out the story on our website, WTHITV.com.